Okay, so for today's recipe, as you can see by the title, we're going to be making some barbecue jerk chicken. Okay guys, we're going to get straight into this cooked dinner with me, but first things first, we got to remove all of these groceries and then we can get started. Okay, so for today's recipe, as you can see by the title, we're going to be making some barbecue jerk chicken. Now, I wanted wings, but for some reason wings are so expensive now, so I ended up just getting chicken breast, a thin slice, which is probably healthier anyways. And I'm going to be making some mashed potatoes. Yes, I have a box mix, and for some reason, the generic brands are the only ones that I can eat because they don't have like milk and wheat and stuff in it. It's really weird, but I'm gonna be making that and I forgot about vegetables. I was supposed to get like macaroni or something else, but I had leftover zucchini and squash that I'm about to make. So I'm gonna marinate my chicken and also a little garlic hack that I'm gonna be using for my mashed potatoes. So I'll show you the garlic hack first. First thing first, you wanna get some foil, garlic. Ah! Not as smooth, but as you can see, some foil, some oil. into paprika nothing too fancy as you can see just like that then you're gonna cover it up and put it in the oven for like 20 30 minutes until it gets soft so we can mix it in a paste next step take you a sip don't judge me I don't have any glasses in here but we're gonna marinate the meat with of course our jerk seasoning I like to put um, onion and garlic powder too. You don't really need it, but that's just something that I like to do because it already has a lot of flavor. And I don't do measurements, so most people say what? Tablespoon per... What does this one say? Since this is hot, they say one ounce to two pounds of meat. I don't know how much this is. This might be about two pounds, but this depends on how spicy you want it. If you guys see me make jerk chicken before, you can check out the other vlogs, but I know what I'm doing. I kind of want mine a little bit spicy, so that's not a problem. And then also I want to put some ginger paste, just because it's good for you. I want a lot of the jerk. Oh, I don't even have that much left. Okay, still going to put it in. That should be good. I'm not going to burn you guys' mouth today. And just some paprika just because. Then get messy. I better not have any cuts on my hands because that's going to burn. Noise. Okay, we're gonna let that marinate and cut up the veggies. Now she, my mom was actually supposed to cut this up and she didn't, so I'm cutting off all the bad parts. I know some of this went bad already, but for the most part, it's pretty good. Like this piece, I'm not eating that. That whole chunk can go. I just realized I didn't get anything to put this in. My nephew's gonna get me for that one. I sound like my mom. So for this, I actually have another idea. I'm gonna make me a little something for my veggies. All right, we got some zesty Italian. Remember, you used to do these on the grill. I didn't think to do it like that too. Put it in the oven. Some paprika. Onion and garlic. Some black pepper. This season is gonna make me sneeze. Roasted garlic. Okay. It's gonna blend in, it'll be fine. Oh, and I forgot a little bit of oil, probably. Thick body boy. He cries in every single one of my videos. No, my zucchini. My countertop's already clean, so don't worry about it. Okay, then we're gonna let this sit for the amount of time we're gonna let the chicken sit and then we'll pop it in the oven as well. Look at that, that's good already. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and add our zucchini to the pan. Everything's nice and marinated. 
the garlic is almost done I just checked it how to redo it again even though it's been 20 minutes we just gotta go a little bit longer this doesn't take no time to cook either again like I said I'm bad at doing measurements and times I mean I guess that means maybe I'm just a good cook I'm just trying to brag a little bit but yeah maybe this goes on for 10 15 minutes basically until it gets soggy I mean you don't want it to get soggy before it gets soggy so that's the only way I can tell you really but yeah let's just put it in the oven okay so right now I got two skillets going I'm being a pro I'm gonna get that nice and warm for the mashed potatoes we're gonna get this skillet heated up for the chicken I have lactose free milk with some water we're gonna melt that down a little bit with some butter and salt optional and right here we're just gonna put a little bit of oil in the pan get it nice and hot I also forgot while that's heating up I want to make my sauce so all I do is barbecue sauce any kind that you want and put a lot in because it tastes really good for the chicken it tastes way better on the grill but it's supposed to be a winter storm so that's why I'm just baking right now and doing something quick as you can see I barely have much left but we're gonna make it work nothing fancy this is how I make my jerk barbecue sauce and then you just mix it up make sure the spices is mixed in there because you don't want one big glob Start to see the spices coming in back to this chicken is this skillet ready yep so one other thing I forgot to tell you is the chicken I did put liquid smoke just to kind of give it a little bit more flavor So guys, Jazz made a mistake. I put onion powder, I tried to be cool and season the mix, and I accidentally put the whole bottle of onion powder. So I'm gonna try to scoop some of this out. That's not gonna work. I just jacked up. Cooking with Jazz. Don't forget the garlic. Whoop! Time to put it. Yeah, you see that? I'm gonna bring you in. all right let me show you what this garlic is talking about it's hot i learned this trick for garlic bread i was supposed to make it short but the clips kind of got jacked up but you can see this is how the garlic looks afterwards steamy right and then all you do is i don't know if you guys can see that it's not the greatest angle it is squeeze oh that's hot You guys get the picture. I'm burning my dog on hands. I actually didn't get any of the shells inside. This is a whole one that. Okay, I lied. I got that one in. Our stuff is crazy boiling, and our chicken is probably done. Dump the potatoes in. I wait too late to stir. Add some more milk. Destroying stuff. Oh shoot, this is not the ideal way that I spread it, but it'll work. I gotta wash my dishes, I'm running out of utensils. Okay, so I'm trying to redeem myself. Mash the garlic up a little bit. See the little paste I made it into? That's roasted garlic. Gonna melt some butter in it. Melted butter. mashed potatoes done and approved each layer of this chicken is getting better and better now again like i said this is jerk i didn't even put the sauce on this part yet everything is officially done let's get into the plating there's the extra sauce there i got Let's just plate it so you guys can see what it's going to look like. Man. 
Okay, 20 hours later and I'm finally done. We're skipping all the talking and going in for a taste test. Perfectly cooked. Just like I thought it would be. Let's go for the mashed potatoes. Listen, I don't have too many words to say, but it's time to eat. Definitely fire this meal straight 10 out of 10. I can easily say 10 out of 10. This is really good. I don't even want to talk. I just want to eat. It's so good. But I hope you guys enjoyed this cooking video with me. If you think I should do more of these, comment below. Let me know. I always share recipes and stuff like that. And you should do like cooking vlogs or set recipe videos. But I want to get into a more, I'm going to say less formal format. Same things I've been doing. But if you guys want to see more of them, let me know. And again, like I said, I follow a low FODMAP diet. All of this food gluten-free dairy-free you guys would be surprised because it sounds kind of weird but you guys eat the same thing like it tastes really good a lot of food you probably won't even notice is gluten-free or dairy-free but it's so good it doesn't even matter comment below what you think about this meal make sure you give this video a like if you like my food and my cooking and subscribe to the channel so you guys can catch up the next videos that i put out i gotta go because this video is so the video the food's so good i can't even talk straight but that's gonna wrap it up i'll catch you guys on the next one Jam, 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 jam.